So, if you've been listening to us for a while, you have seen us stand on our head in all kinds of different ways, presenting to you process after process to help you first be aware that you are a vibrational being, and next to help you improve your vibrational stance. Today, we're going to talk to you from inside the vortex, pulling out all the stops, calling you toward who you really are. By helping you to understand that this law of attraction who really is your friend has amassed all kinds of wonderful things for you. And in any moment of time, if you don't feel good, it's not because you're not worthy and it's not because you haven't asked and it's not because what you've asked for has not been answered. It's because you've been practicing a vibration that is a deviation from what you are asking for. We've noticed as we've given you processes that sometimes our processes and others help you to focus yourself more into alignment. But many of you offer so much effort, mostly, and in some cases only, when things aren't going well. In other words, you wait until you're sick before you start intending to be well. You wait until something isn't going well before you focus upon it at all. In other words, it's almost like you've become so problem oriented that you're sort of stuck in the vibration of the problem much more than you intended when you decided to come forth. Oh, you knew there would be variety. You knew there would be contrast. You knew that the contrast would help you to sharpen your focus. You knew even if you were a one celled organism that this contrast that surrounded you would help you to define new desires and that the evolution of your species would be about that. You knew all of that. So you came fully understanding contrast and embracing it because you know, you knew then, the larger part of you still knows that when a problem comes into focus, the solution does too. We just want to help you get more solution oriented faster by being more sensitive to your emotions early on so that you catch those off thoughts, those off memories, those off beliefs, those off, off, off vibrations before they get such a foothold that then they really have your attention. It's so much easier to catch them in the early subtle stages than to wait until it is more full blown in your experience. So toward that end, we're going to make a very striking analogy for you. We really want you to hear this above all things you've ever heard. Did you read Ask and It Is Given? Yes. Did you read 22 processes? Yes. This trumps all of them. <laughs> and here's why. Vibration is everything. So let's say that you are experiencing shortage of dollars, shortage of financial prosperity, or anything really. We're talking about dollars because we have the money and the law of attraction cards here. So you've worried, you've fussed, money is slow and seeming to get slower, and now you're beyond worried, you're fearful, and now you're determined that you're going to do something about it. And you've heard that Abraham, that's us, has written brilliant, 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 brilliant affirmation cards. It's true. It's true. This is the best combination of words to attract money that has ever been put together in human experience. We are very proud of these cards. So you're standing outside your vortex, worried, and determined to do something about it. So you pick up these brilliant cards and you look for empowerment within them. So you look through them and look through them. My life is as good as I allow it to be. <sighs> I am always receiving the essence of what I am giving. You gotta be kidding. I can follow the trails of good feeling thoughts. I can follow the trail of good feeling money, but I don't know about it. The story I tell is the basis of my life. I'm in deep doo-doo. <laughs> I am the creator of my own life experience. These are not helpful cards. <laughs> I can see my world through the eyes of source. 
I would like to punch out the eyes of source. <laughs> I can deliberately choose to feel better now. <laughs> there's not one good card here. There's not, there's not one good card here. Because these cards are a vibrational match to prosperity. These cards are a vibrational match to abundance. These cards are a vibrational match to what you've put into your vortex, what's in your vortex, to the vibrational beingness that you've already created. But when you are not vibrationally there, these cards irritate you. Like your friends who seem to be the law of attraction police. <laughs> you know, you create your own reality. So what we're wanting you to understand is that when you are outside the vortex, when you are in that vibration of resistance, when you're down, when you're feeling negative emotion, that is not the time to gird up your loins, to get your lips dip, especially the upper one. It's not the time for you to dig in and effort because every effort that you offer backfires it's like it just brings more of where you are you know it have you ever had a disagreement with someone you're sure you're right they're sure they're right you're complete opposites and the more you convey the sure they are you're wrong it's a stalemate you just don't get anywhere because you're digging in hard that's what happens when you work hard to affirm from outside the vortex so what's the logical answer the logical answer is get in the vortex and then affirm now that's logical it's logical get in the vortex and then affirm and some people would say well if I could get in the vortex I would affirm but how do I get in the vortex if I'm not in the vortex and we say first of all what does being in the vortex mean it means absence of resistance there are lots of ways to get into the vortex as soon as you wake up jump in first thing in the morning it's a lot easier to be in there if you go to bed at night worrying, you'll probably wake up worrying. So you have to get in fast, go get a massage, go swimming, take a run somewhere, meditate. You are in the vortex many times every day. You just don't stay long enough to really recognize that you're there. And often you don't stay there long enough to really milk it and shift the vibration of it so that's what we're going to be doing here today now you are a room full of rather remarkable people because first of all you know about this vibration stuff and you understand your emotions and you've been making decisions about feeling better things are moving very fast these days the energy out here on this leading edge on planet earth has never moved faster there have never been more outside the vortex with stronger asking and when more are asking the energy moves faster which means for those who are in the vortex the energy lifts you it supports you it gives you clarity it makes you feel wonderful and it delivers to you over and over and over again but for those not in the vortex this fast moving energy beats you up so our encouragement during these hours that we are together is that you accept the reality of this vortex of creation understand that your inner being is in there as the holder the maintainer the placeholder of all that you've become and if it is your powerful desire not so much to get in the vortex but to recognize when you are in there and then just milk it a little bit what you will begin to do is to allow the vortex to train your frequency upward because you cannot focus upon the problem and the solution at the same time it's one or the other you see and it's so much easier to maintain the vibration of the solution once you are in the vortex in fact that's when all of the clarity and insight comes to you when you're in the vortex that's when the manifestations begin to reveal themselves to you the reason this conversation is not very well received by a lot of people is because 
They are accustomed to looking at things that are manifested and they sort them into piles of wanted and unwanted. And they're not even thinking about the pile that is amassing for them in their vortex because they can't see it. And we understand that. You use your physical senses magnificently. You translate vibration to see what you see. You translate vibration to hear what you hear. You translate vibration to smell what you smell and to taste what you taste and to touch what you touch. You are translating vibration all over the place. Your emotions are your most significant translator of vibration. So while you can see what's manifested you can't see what's in the vortex unless you're in there and have been in there long enough that you are on the vibration of what's in there once you spend significant time in the vibration of the vortex what begins to happen is in the same way you can keenly smell and keenly hear and keenly see and keenly taste and keenly feel you can keenly know what's in the vortex you will have the experience of sight and sound we're not kidding you when you are in the vortex and you spend enough time there that you acclimate to the frequency of it the first thing that happens is ideas begin to flow to you that you weren't getting when you weren't in the vortex ideas really good ideas impulses impulses to do things impulses to go there and stop there impulses to slow down and speed up impulses that cause you to rendezvous with other cooperative components that you have been looking for cooperative components that you've been asking for and asking for and asking for that the source energy has delivered and delivered and delivered and delivered but just outside the vortex you can't see them you can't find them you can't know them but inside the vortex aha there you are there's an idea I can run with and how do you know because it's an idea that is so compelling wild horses would not keep you from it every one of you knows what we're talking about you remember falling in love you remember being at the right place at the right time so now we're telling you in ways that you cannot miss you're hearing it with your ears you're seeing it with your eyes you're knowing it with your belly you know what we speak is true now that you know this now that you know about the existence of this vortex now that you know about the power of your own guidance system now that you know that this is a vibrational universe now that you know there's all kinds of things amassed for the you that you can't see now manifestational reality is going to mean less to you for a while and that's such a good thing because when manifestational reality means less to you vibrational reality will be more to you emotional reality will be more to you being tuned in tapped in turned on to the energy of your source will mean more to you and you'll catch yourself going off course at those early subtle stages you'll find yourself in the middle of a sentence wanting to draw it back in and wanting to de-emphasize it rather than emphasize it you will begin to be the deliberate creator of your own reality from this step forward it is our promise to you we are eager to talk with you get a little wound up here because you have to understand we've seen what's in your vortex we know what you've lined up and our eagerness is about you discovering the fulfillment of it but friends not because we're excited about the manifestation we are sort of <laughs> but because we are thrilled with knowing what it feels like to you to sync up to sync up to sync up with who you are you came for the passion of life not for the trucks you came for the passion of life you came for the emotion of life you came for the feeling of life you came for that worthy proud good feeling of a powerful creator that's who you are that's why you're here